Nergenic Nation, and welcome if you're new. I'm the anime expert here at Nergenic.com, but today I'll be bringing a new type of content here, and I'm going to start with a quick guide to the game League of Legends. But before we get started, let me tell you about our Patreon page. If you're a fan of our work here at Nergenic.com, then consider becoming a patron. Doing so will give you behind-the-scenes access to early links, tutorials, and much more to come. With your support, Aaron can keep you updated on all the superheroes, Russ can share his words of wisdom, and I can bring you bigger and better anime content. And now back to the video. League of Legends, commonly referred to as League, is a 2009 multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Riot Games. Inspired by Defense of the Ancients, a custom map for Warcraft 3, it is a team-based strategy game where two teams of five powerful champions face off to destroy the other's base. You can choose from over 140 champions to make epic plays, secure kills, and take down towers as you battle your way towards victory. Once you download the game and sign in using your Riot Games account, you will be taken to the game's homepage. On the right hand side, you will see your friends list, and on the top, there's a lot more going on. On the top right corner, you have your IGN, or your endgame name, along with your profile, which shows your name, icon, rank, and quote. Then we have your RP, and your blue essence, which you can spend at the store. With RP, you can buy skins, capsules, loots, and accessories, and with blue essence, you can buy new champions that you don't already have. Then you have your loot page, where you can go through your materials like capsules, keys, champions, shards, and skin shards. To the left of the loot page, you have your collection page. This shows everything that you have in your account. All your own champions, skins, emotes, icons, items, wards, and chromas, as well as displaying your mastery score. Then you have your profile page, where you can view your overview, challenges, match history, your ranking, highlights, and your stats. Within Summoner's Rift, there are a few different game modes. Two normal modes, blind pick, and draft pick. In blind mode, you typically state in the chat what role you want to play and pick your champ and then play them. Whereas in draft pick, you get assigned a role where you can declare your champion and then ban champions and hope that the champion you declare doesn't get banned by the other team or even sometimes from your own teammates. Then you have the ranked games, where how well or not so well you do in your game will have an effect on your ranking and determine whether or not you can rank up or get demoted to a lower rank. Now that you've decided which gameplay you'd like, now it's time to actually get ready to play. But first you need to decide on what role you want to play. On each team, there are five players that have a different role. The top lane generally chooses strong champions who have enough life and can eventually help their team roll. Some champions we can highlight in this role are Mordekaiser, Garen, Elawi, and Dr. Mundo. All have large amounts of life and can take and sustain damage throughout the game. From the different roles in League of Legends, the top is the most versatile as it allows you to do some solo play in the early game and then work as a backup if, if other lanes need you. Then we have the junglers. The jungler is in charge of supporting each of the other lanes and killing jungle camps like red and blue buffs, dragons, barons, and smaller camps like the wolves or rock monsters. It is a style of support although with other characteristics that make it a more versatile role. In this case, champions that usually are used are Master Yi, Shaco, Evelyn, Kindred, or Warwick for better performance. Then we have the mid lane. When in mid, champions with mage characteristics or similar skills are often used. They are also known as AP carries because they climb with ability power. Some excellent champions to use in mid lane are Zed, Akale, or Ari, who individually can reel their team. So to sum up, the most important feature of a mid laner are attack and speed. Then in the bot lane we have the ADC or all damage carry and the support. The ADC champs attack from a distance. Their ultimate goal is to be able to eliminate enemies with ease and to be one of the champions to do more damage in the game. Some good champions for this role are Misfortune, Zeri, Sivir, Caitlyn, or Jinx thanks to their skills and performance. Then lastly we have the support role. The support is the companion of the ADC and the subsequent help of the whole team. The support is in charge of having vision all over the field and protecting his teammates throughout the game. Some of my favorite support champions are Yumi, Seraphine, Nami, or Lux because of their crowd control skills in handling heavy situations. Alright, so you've picked your role and you've selected your champion. Now it's time to set up your runes and summoner spells. Now there are many different ways to set up your runes, so I suggest looking up different builds to determine which runes are good for your lane, champion, and playstyle. Runes can make or break a champion before the game can even start, and with the summoner spells, you can choose from 9 different spells to help aid in your game. You spawn in at your team's base where everyone starts with 500 gold. 
You buy your starting items depending on your role, and you run off to your positions. Most people chat or show off their skins and emotes during this time with their silly dances. To use an emote, hold down T and then select the one that you want to use. To chat with your team, press the enter button to access the chat. And if you want to talk to everyone, including the other team, press enter and shift. And to do those fun little dances, hit control, then press one, two, three, or four. Each champion has their own unique moves, which you can use by pressing Q, W, or E. And after level six, you will have access to your ultimate, which is your R button. But don't forget to utilize your champion's passive, which you can read by hovering over the passive icon. As you battle through your lane, you will eventually need to back to buy items to further advance in the game. There's so many items to choose from, and again, I'd recommend searching a build guide, or you can buy it from the recommended page. So go back to the base, simply press B, and wait out your champ's backing animation. After a while, you will progress through the game, and as you level up, slowly but surely, the laning phase will be over, and it will be time to wander around the map. This is where lots of strategy comes into play, but one of the most important things to do after the laning phase is to have plenty of vision on the map. You can press Fort Award, and other ways to gain vision would to be kill this jungle camp or to break vision flowers to make sure your team can see as much of the map as possible. Eventually, you'll start to make your way towards enemy turrets, and these are team safe havens and protectors. While you attack enemies while they are under their turrets, the turret will retaliate by targeting you and they deal massive amount of damage. To break down turrets, make sure that you have a wave of minions in front of you as a shield, and to speed up this process, you can tackle turrets with your teammates, or you can kill this monster in the jungle and summon it to attack against enemy turrets. And once you make it past the turrets, collecting goals, kills, jungle buffs, and turrets, you will need to eventually make it to the enemy base, where a lot of team fights usually happen. You'll need to get past the base turrets and shut down their respawners to claim victory over your team where the, you can then show honor to a teammate that you feel did the best and see how everyone else did too. And that's everything you need to know from this quick guide to League of Legends. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to join the Nergenic Nation and to keep up with anime and gaming content. That's all for this video, Anime Expert Ash out.